Welcome everyone to the practice. Let's begin by sitting on our mat with your legs crossed, your eyes closed, back straight, your hands gently resting on your knees or thighs. Start by taking a deep inhale into your nose. And a deep exhale out. Take a deep inhale into your nose. And a deep exhale out. Start by becoming aware of your presence in this room, in this space, in this moment, do you hear any sounds? Is there any smell? Just take this moment to become aware of the environment you're in right now. And slowly turn your awareness from the room into your body by observing if you feel anything physically today. Are you feeling any tension? Maybe stiffness or weight? Just observe it and become aware of how your body is feeling today. By taking a few minutes this time to really listen to your body. And once you became aware of your physical body, shift your attention to your emotions or feeling and observing how you're feeling today. Is there any emotional stress or tension you're holding? If yes, where do you feel it in the body? Just observe it gently from the outside. With each inhalation, bring in the new air and fresh oxygen into your body. And with each exhalation, allow everything that you no longer need to go out. With each inhalation, Bring the air, the oxygen to every muscles and every cells. And with each exhale, allow everything that you no longer need 
to melt towards the ground. With every inhale and exhale, you become lighter and lighter. Now take a deep inhale in and exhale out, coming back to your body, coming back to this room and open your eyes. Let's begin our practice by standing at the front of the mat and take a deep inhale, bring both of your arms up and exhale, complete forward bend. Now bring your right leg back, knees on the floor, inhale, open up, bring the arms up toward the sky and exhale, bring both of the hands down, bringing your left foot back, stretch into Adho Mukha Svanasana, inhale, bring your right leg up and exhale your right foot in between your hands. Now lift your left leg up and wrap your left leg around your right leg and wrap your arm so that your left arm is below your right arm. This posture is called Garudasan. It's the eagle posture, keeping your back straight. Sitting even lower if you can and inhale, come back up. Now grab your left foot with your left hand, inhale, bring your arms up, focus on one point, standing straight and strong on your right leg, and slowly release your left leg, and go into plank, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, Inhale, Upper Facing Dog, Urva Mukshvanasan. And exhale, Adho Mukshvanasan. Walk to the front of the mat with both of your feet, complete forward bend. Inhale, bringing both of the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, hands at the heart center. Inhale, arms up toward the sky, looking up. And exhale, complete forward bend, left leg back, left knee on the floor, inhale, open up, arms up, and exhale, hands to the floor. Go to Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. This time, inhaling, bring your left leg up toward the sky, bend the left knee, and bring your left leg to the front. And slowly step to the front, bend your right knee and right leg around your left leg and bring your right arm below your left arm, wrapping around in Garudasan. Bring your hips even lower if you can, keeping the back straight and slowly come back. Now grab your right toe with your right hand to lift your leg up and lift your left arm up, inhaling into your chest, exhaling, standing tall and strong. Now slowly release, go to plank, and exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, Udva Mukshvanasana, Exhale, Adho Mukshvanasan. Take a breath here. Stretch and walk to the front of the mat with both of your legs. Complete forward bend. Inhale, bringing the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, hands at the heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, complete forward bend. Bring the right leg back, knees down. Inhaling, arms up and exhale hands down bring the left foot back Adho Mukha Svanasan. inhale right leg up right knee bend and bring the right foot in between your hands opening your leg wide apart face to the front of the mat 
and inhaling bring the arms up bend your right knee both of your heels are strongly grounded on the floor deep inhale in here and exhale open in warrior two keeping your right knee bent and in the inhale open towards the back of the mat and reverse warrior opening the side of your body both of your legs are remaining strong and exhale come back straighten your right leg and shift to trikonasan bringing the left arm up opening your chest creating a beautiful line your back is straight open up even deeper and bend your knee come back to plank pose exhale chaturanga dandasana inhale upper facing dog Come back to Adho Mukha Svanasana, taking a deep breath in and walk with both of your legs to the front of the mat, complete forward bend, inhaling arms up, exhale hands at the heart center, let's go on the other side, inhale arms up, exhale complete forward bend, inhale left knee back on the floor, opening with your arms and exhale hands down and shift to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhaling, bring your left leg towards the sky, bend your knee and bring it in front. Bring your right heel to the ground. I will just shift so that you can see better. So both of your heels are on the ground, bend your left knee and bring both of your arms up. Keeping your back straight, your knees a 90 degree angle. Feel the opening in your hips and thighs. And exhale. Open yourself in warrior two. Arms straight. And with the inhale, bringing the left arm up above your head towards the back. Opening in reverse warrior, really feeling the stretch and the space in the upper body and slowly come back bringing your left hand towards the ground opening in trikonasan inhaling create space and exhale slowly release the posture bring your hands to the ground and exhale chaturanga dandasana Inhale, upper facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Slowly walk with both of your feet to the front of the mat. Complete forward bend. Inhale, arms up toward the sky. And exhale, hands to heart center. Catch your breath here. Take a moment. And let's come seated at the back of the mat, your hips on your heels, and with the inhale, bringing both of the arms up, interlock your fingers, opening your upper body, your back, your chest, both of the arms are straight, take a deep inhale, and exhale, slowly release and slowly shift to tabletop position in extended puppy pose by bringing your arms and chest close to the ground. Close your eyes. Imagine to really bring your chest closer to the ground. You can bring your palms against each other and bringing on top of your head towards your neck. Taking a deep inhale and try to go even deeper. Slowly release the posture and thread your left arm below your right armpit. Extend the right arm to the front. 
and feeling a really nice stretch on the side of your body here. Taking a deep inhale in, close your eyes and relax. And slowly come back to center. Let's stretch on the other side. Bring your right arm towards the left. Bring your forehead to the ground. Extend your left arm to the front. Feeling the opening and stretch to the side of your body. Taking a deep inhale in. Exhale. Slowly come back up. Sit in Vajrasan at the center of the mat, your knees together, toes touching each other, and interlock your fingers at the back and lift your arms slightly. Close your eyes. Feel the stretch from within. And slowly release your arms. Roll your shoulders back. Relax your neck. Back straight, closing your eyes, coming back to your body, to your awareness, to your breath, and bring both of the palms against each other at the heart center, bowing down to yourself to your health and nature that is always supporting us. Exhale, bow down to the floor. Inhale, come up and open your eyes.